Imagine being on a date at the best restaurant in town, and then the waiter trips and drops his tray full of live lobster, and one of them pinches you. And this is not even the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me. Let's take it from the beginning. My mom was a Red Cross advocate for women's rights, and my dad was her bodyguard, so they were always off to this gala or the other, and they left us back with an army of nannies. And when I say us, I mean me and the Chaos Crew, also known as my five younger siblings. Food battles, mud fights, glitter bombs, they were so extra. Even Mary Poppins would snap her little umbrella and shut up a chimney to escape from them. Every time another nanny left, we got the talk. I'm disappointed in all of you, but especially you, Martha. You're the oldest. You should lead by example. I haven't done anything. Exactly. How are you supposed to become a leader of the future if you can't even lead your siblings? If you were home teaching us instead of running around, I wouldn't have to take charge. What I do is important. More important than your family? When mom didn't immediately reply, my heart shattered. I rushed to my room and locked it when mom came to talk to me later. Martha, I'm I'm sorry. Of course I love you. Then don't go. I have to. But we'll talk when we come back. I promise. Maybe it's better if you never come back. It was like fate really had a twisted sense of humor and heard me. Mom and Dad did not return from their last trip to the Amazon. I felt like it was my fault that they didn't return. My punishment. The police sent out search parties and even used drones to look at their plane that disappeared, but they couldn't find anything. It's a lot, right? But stay with me. You've already liked and subscribed, haven't you? Don't cry. Mom and Dad will come back. Dad's a tough bodyguard and Mom's faster than a tiger. I'll take care of you in the meantime. I'll be a leader, Mom, just like you wanted. Please come back. But I was only 15, and I knew nothing about adulting. I was suddenly surrounded by lawyers asking me questions and making me sign things. Just pretend you know what you're doing and you'll be fine. Yeah, it wasn't fine. One of my mom's lawyers turned out to be a total snake. He conned his way into getting guardianship over everything, and then he kicked us out and took control of all the assets. You can't do this! Oh, what? I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you over the sound of all the money you just signed off to me. Wait until Mom and Dad are back. They'll send you to jail. You mean when they come back from the jungle? <laughs> well, I've got a fortune to spend. Goodbye. I was super angry, but I didn't have time for it. The chaos crew had turned into a miserable bunch, and I needed to take care of them first. Right. First step, let's find a place to live. We all put our birthday cash together, and it was enough for a couple of months' rent. Finding someone willing to rent to a group of teenagers was quite a challenge. So I had this crazy idea to dress up like an old lady, and somehow managed to get us a lease. Luckily, it was still the summer holidays, so I I had time to take up all the gigs I could find, like a plant manager, where I literally had to water plants, cornfield pollinator, and even party entertainer. These children are wilder than my siblings. Let it go. Let it go. Ah! Here, let me help you up. At least my colleagues are all kind. My siblings pitched in as well. They baked tons of cookies and sold them, pretending to be Girl Scouts. And they muddied everyone's cars at night so they could offer a wash-up service in the morning. <laughs> at a premium, of course. Who knew that being little devils would come in handy? By the time school started, I had turned 16, and we had all transferred to public school. I was so nervous on the first day. And then I got to class and all the desks were already taken. Well, now I'll have to stand in the corner like a potted plant. But then a girl sitting in the last row waved at me. She was dressed in this bright orange shirt with space buns and her desk was hidden under a pile of comics. Come here, we can share. Um, there's a desk under all that? Where can I get a chair? Oh, we'll share mine. Oh, by the way, I'm Brie. You can call me Brilliant. Brie was a weirdo, but she was also pretty awesome. She gave me all her notes and knew all the juicy gossip. That girl there, her mom works in marketing. So she always knows the latest discount codes. And that one there, don't talk about her nose. We became best friends, and eventually I told her about my story. I want to save up enough cash so I can find my parents. You're so strong. I want to be like you. You're perfect the way you are. I'm not. I'm almost 17, and I've never had a boyfriend. Everyone I confess to just rejects me, and Darius doesn't even know I exist. Darius was Bree's crush and the captain of the school's chess team. Are you sure he's the right guy for you? He is the one. I can feel it. And this time, I'm going to get my confession right. Bree's plan was as crazy as she was. She got dressed up as a chess piece and painted the whole club room as a giant chess board with a banner that said, will you be my checkmate? But when Darius walked into the door, he freaked out. Where is it? What? My chess board. There was a game I've been playing since I was a freshman. I, I, we just moved it. Uh, there? Darius was so furious, he wanted to call the principal. And then one of his friends intervened. I didn't see who he was because I was too busy pulling a crying Brie away. Thank you, mysterious dude. After that, Brie was done with the guys. And honestly, I had my own problems to deal with. Like, the time I was getting out of the shower and this gigantic cockroach came out of the drain. I screamed and hit it with the shampoo bottle, but then even more of them started crawling out. Yeek! It's an invasion! Oh, 
yeah, it happens. Why do you think the flat was so cheap? We tried spraying them with gas, but the crawlers kept multiplying. We need a new flat ASAP. Martha, wise up and ask for a raise. But when I showed up for my part-time gig at the party entertainer company, the door was sealed off with bright yellow FBI tape and the entire place cleared out. Oh man, I loved this job. At least you get to keep the costume. What costume? These are my normal clothes. That is very creative. I never thought I'd meet someone more colorful than Bree. Hey, hey, wait a second. Cute, smart, and probably colorblind. He's just perfect. Jasper, how would you like to meet a friend of mine? The moment I introduced Bree and Jasper, it was insta-love. They were like two very colorful peas in a super bright pot. And shortly after, they started dating. Martha, you are a lifesaver. I was seriously starting to think I'd be a crazy cat lady forever. Eh, it was an easy match. You have so much in common. A couple of months later, it was Jasper's birthday party. And he introduced me to his sister Trinity, who was like a Wednesday to his Enid. Wow, and they came out of the same womb. I can't believe someone like Jasper found such a cute girlfriend. And I'm still single. All the boys care about is looks, and no one cares about brains. As I watched Trinity cut marshmallows into cubes and stack them into perfect columns, I realized there was at least one boy who could appreciate her, so I texted him. Oh, I hope I won't regret this. The party was in full swing when... What's Darius doing here? Actually, I invited him. What? Trust me. Hey, Darius. Hi. This is Trinity, and she likes cube-shaped marshmallows. Round marshmallows make no sense. Finally, someone who gets it. And just like that, Darius the ice cube started melting. See, I told you he wasn't the right one for you. She is. OMG, you're right. You're like the matchmaking queen. I realized how happy Bree's words made me. Helping other people is so cool. But fate was once again ready to kick me down because I got a call from the hospital. <gasps> what happened? They're saying my brother picked up a sandwich from the bin, but it had some glass in it and now he needs stitches. This is all my fault. If we had more money, he'd never pick food from the bin. And now how am I going to pay for the operation? We don't have insurance. I even tried to call the snake lawyer, but... Oh, I love that you think I should care. Bye. Luckily, the operation was a success, and my brother was okay. When I got to the hospital and asked for the bill, the receptionist told me it had already been paid. It was a young guy. Ah, uh, there, he's just walking into the elevator. I tried to catch up with him, but the elevator door is shut in my face. Gosh, I swear his back looks so familiar. Who is he? Thanks to my mysterious angel, the accident had resolved well, but it had shown me how much I needed a new job. After Darius and Trinity became a thing, the whole school was buzzing with the rumor that I was the one who set them up. People were begging me to find them their perfect match. Every time I opened my locker, I was buried in a pile of profiles and love letters. How do I fix this? I'm happy to help, but I can't keep doing this for everyone. I gotta focus on finding a new part-time job. Well, why don't you open a matchmaking agency? But I feel bad to ask people to pay for love. Then only ask for a donation from the successful ones. And who knows, maybe you'll find the right match for yourself as well. Right, like I have time for that. But Brie is right. This is something I'm good at. I should at least try. So the next day, I got Brie and Jasper to help me throw my first matchmaker party. By the end of the night, the donation box was bursting with cash and everyone was coupled up. Almost everyone. As I stepped into the bathroom, a girl ran up to me and she was dripping wet. How could you match me up with that dimwit? I told him, pass me the water and he poured it on me. Him as in, I checked my notes. Kiro? Kiro was one of my top candidates. One year older than me and a looker. Plus, he aced all his classes. Oh, and he loved hamsters and gaming. And well, to be honest, I might have stalked his online profile a bit. Can't help that he's so cute. And then he called my mom your grandma. It has to be on purpose. I'm sorry. I'll find you a new match. How about Timothy? Thankfully, Timothy was a total catch. So the girl was happy and my reputation was saved. My agency was killing it. And my siblings and I finally moved out of Cockroachville. But to track down mom and dad, I needed some serious cash. And that meant tackling my biggest issue. Hero, what's up with him? On paper, he's a catch. But every girl I set him up with comes back with a nightmare story. He took me on a boat trip and we almost sank. We went ice skating, but he didn't know how to stop and we crashed. We tried a cooking class and he somehow managed to burn the spaghetti, set off the fire alarm, and evacuate the entire restaurant. He's ruining my perfect score. How can someone be really that clumsy? Maybe you need to find out by yourself. Bree was right. So I bought a wig and contact lenses and set up myself for a date with Kiro. As soon as he entered the restaurant, he tripped on his own feet and crashed into the waiter and everyone was looking at us. But instead of being angry, I just smiled. So Kiro, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm kind of clumsy. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's not so easy to scare me. I mean, I survived a cockroach invasion. A what? So I told Kiro everything about my horrible flat and crazy summer jobs. He <laughs> laughed and then got back from the toilet with a whole roll stuck under his shoe, which then led to the lobster accident, which I told you about already. And gosh, he really is a menace.
Venice. You're giving up? Never. The second date was better. We only got a batch full of super salty popcorn. The third date was almost normal. And by the fourth, I realized he'd done nothing clumsy. Wow, I guess he was just nervous. I started to get so comfortable around him that I even told him about my mom and dad's disappearance. Don't lose hope. I bet they're still out there somewhere. I know they are. If it hadn't been for that awful lawyer. What lawyer? After I explained how we got conned, Kiro was super mad. I can't believe he can get away with something like that. He's a lawyer. Who is the police gonna believe? There must be some evidence. The more I listened to Kiro, the more I realized he was right. I didn't have time or money before to go after him, but now it's time for the Chaos Crew's return and get our revenge. That night, we went to our old house and stuffed some old rotted beans in all the air vents. Less than half an hour later, the people inside were opening all the windows. Stage two, go. Dressed up as a cleaning crew, my siblings rang at the door while I sneaked through a window. It was dark, but I grew up in this house. I know it like the back of my hand. I waited until the Chaos Crew started to fill all the vents with flour, making everyone <laughs> cough, and then I went into the study. Okay, focus. He won't leave around a folder with evil plan written on it, so... But as I looked into a drawer, that's exactly what I found. As I scanned through the pages, everything became clear. My parents! I can't believe they... Drop that! I looked around to see if there was anything I could throw at him, but he had me backed into a corner. I thought I smelled a rat. Now be a good girl and... Conk! The lawyer dropped, and behind him was Kiro holding a big law book. The power of knowledge, eh? OMG, thank you. But how did you find me? I might have followed you. Sorry, I was worried. While Kiro tied him up and called the police, I whipped out the phone and called the number I had found in the evil plan folder. Sugar Leader's Bakery? Yes, I have to place an order for 27 cinnamon rolls. Thank you. Please work. Please work. Attack! Attack! Mistaking Kiro for a bad guy, my siblings jumped him. And by the time I pried them away, the police had arrived. Arrest them! They're trespassing! It's not your house. My parents are missing, not dead. So by law, my signatures are invalid. But the evidence was clear, and the police dragged him away. It turns out, we weren't the only family he had conned. He's going to be in prison for a very long time. A few days later, my siblings and I returned to our parents' home. I invited Kiro, Bree, and my friends to celebrate, but I couldn't sit still. Finally, the doorbell rang, and when I opened the door, my parents were there, alive and well. My babies! We're so sorry. We were working with Native communities to stop illegal activities, but we were forced to go underground to save the project. We left our lawyer a number and a safe message, so that you could reach us in case of an emergency. That's the call you made? Yes! That arrogant man had written everything down. He was supposed to explain everything and take care of us. Instead, he even told our parents to stay away because we had received some threats. We should have never trusted him. But now you're home and you're going to stay, right? Mom and Dad looked at each other and for a moment I was afraid that they might leave again. Of course we're staying. We learned our lesson. And who are all these nice young people? I introduced all my new friends to my parents and told them how much they had helped me. But when it was Kiro's turn, I hesitated. Is he a friend? A date? A boyfriend? He doesn't even know I'm the matchmaker. This is Kiro and I, well, I've never been completely honest with him. I turned to him. I hope he understands. Kiro, I'm not one of your matches. I am the matchmaker. I braced myself, expecting rejection, but... I already knew. What? Why do you think I was such a loser with other girls? I've had a crush on you since Bree's wild confession to Darius. But you were so wrapped up in your agency, you never even gave me a second glance. I had to do something drastic to get you to notice me. Bree's confession? But I squinted at him. Right! He was the guy who stopped Darius from going to the principal. And OMG, you also paid for my brother's hospital bill. Yeah, I overheard you talking about it at Jasper's party. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want you to go out with me because of money. I couldn't believe he'd done all that just to date me. I guess this answers my question. Mom, Dad, I'd like to introduce you to Kiro, my perfect match. I grabbed Kiro's hand, and as I saw the happiness on his face, I knew I had made the perfect choice. Welcome to the family, Kuro.